Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ashley and Pete travel, but this is Ashley Marie travel. And uh, today we're coming at you from Bentonville, Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas to see the historic one. Well, I'll just say a uh, very big part of American culture today. And uh, it is a historic place. It is Walton's Five and Dime. And if you don't know what Walton's Five and Dime is, you've probably been to one a lot. There goes Marie. It's Walmart. It's the first Walmart. Walton's Five and Dime, founded by Sam Walton. We're gonna go inside, check it out, and uh, learn a little bit about the history of Walmart. Welcome old friends, hello new friends, let's go on an adventure together. As we were going inside, it looks like they're actually doing some renovations. So they moved everything down the street to the Walmart Heritage Lab. So that's where we're heading. There's not as much to see, but we're here in Bentonville. We're gonna check it out. All right, here is the temporary Walmart Museum. Let's go in. So here's some historical uniforms here. And I had to pay up while wearing a grass skirt and doing a hula on Wall Street. I thought we slipped down there and danced and David would videotape it so he could prove to everyone back that Saturday morning meeting that I really did it. But when we got there, it turned out David had hired a truckload of real hula dancers and ukulele players. And he had alerted the newspapers and TV networks. And we had all kinds of trouble with the police about permits and the dancers union wouldn't let them dance without heaters because it was so cold. Now in the actual Walton's Five and Dime on the uh, main square there, there is Sam Walton's office inside and a bunch of different things. But unfortunately they're gonna be in this building for the next year and a half, which I didn't know. So if you come to the Walmart History Museum in Bentonville, this is what you're gonna see for the next year and a half. Year and a half from now, they are gonna reopen and make it bigger and better than ever. Uh, but for right now, this is the Walmart Museum and sadly there is no gift shop, which I love. That is Sam Walton's Presidential Medal of Freedom. So there's not a whole ton in here, but there is one funny thing that I really like. Um, customer returns. Customer returned this mixer because it was possessed. Customer returned this pencil sharpener because it didn't sharpen ink pens. Outdoor thermometer. The thermometer, the thermometer that was returned to a Walmart store. It had never been the correct time. Uh, let's see, tennis racket. It was crushed by a heavy weight, but it said it didn't serve well. And back here, the Cinderella fishing pole was returned because they couldn't catch fish with it. There you go. I've heard about it, but there's the delivery room that Walmart has. I don't know who it delivers to. It delivers, that's crazy. That's a huge drone. That's the other drone that they use, which I, I mean, that's crazy. Wow, it's a little mini Bentonville. So we're passing by the Walton's Five and Dime that is closed. They are remodeling the whole thing. They're making it two stories, and because it's such a historical building, they have to do a lot of work to it. It's gonna take a year and a half, and we won't be here then. So, thanks for watching. And sadly, there's not a whole ton in Bentonville. Sorry, Bentonville. We did get some really, really good coffee. 